hello friends welcome back to tutorials in this tutorial we will study how we can convert the numbers of different bases or radix into decimal numbers to differentiate between numbers of different bases we enclose the numbers in parentheses and write a subscript which is equal to the base of that number suppose there is a number n whose base or radix is r then we will write that number by enclosing it in parenthesis and writing a subscript r here r signifies that the number n is of base or radix r in decimal number system right the decimal number systems are of base or radix 10 if a number system is of base or radix r then it has r digits for example decimal number system which is of base or radix 10 has 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 octal number system which is of base or radix 8 has 8 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 binary number system which is of base 2 or radix 2 has 2 digits which are called bits that is 0 and 1 In hexadecimal system, in a hexadecimal number system is of radix or base 16. Since it is of base 16, we have 16 digits in this number system. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, A represents a value 10. B represents the value 11. C represents the value 12. D represents the value 13. E represents the value 14. And F represents the value 15. Now, now suppose there is a number n whose base or radix is r. Now we have to convert it into a decimal number. It means we have to convert a number n of base r into a number of base 10. That this number is this here a0, a1, a2, a3, a minus 1, a minus 2, a minus n. These all are the digits of number n. And this point is the radix point. In decimal number system, this radix point is called decimal point. Now, these subscripts represents the position of digits in number n. Look at this digit A3. Here, 3 represents the position of digit A3 in number n. Now, the digits which are at the left of radix point this one a0 a1 a2 a3 right their subscript is numbered from right to left that is starting from 0 so for digits which are at the left of radix point their subscript is numbered like 0, 1, 2, 3, right? From right to left. And digits which are at the right of radix point, right? Which are at the right of radix point. Their subscripts are numbered negatively, like 
minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. Now we have to convert this number into a decimal number. So what we have to do? We have to multiply each digit right with r raised to power its subscript which indicates its position so here we have multiplied a n with r raised to power n a n minus 1 with r raised to power n minus 1 a 1 with r raised to power 1 a minus 1 with r raised to power minus 1 and so on and what we have to do in and add all these terms so whatever result we will get after adding all these terms will be a decimal number whose value will be equal to the number n whose base is r suppose there is a number 103 whose base is 5 now we have to convert it into a decimal number first of all write a position of each digit of this number num uh, digits which are at the left of radix point right their position is numbered from right to left starting from 0 so this digit has position 0, this has 1 and this has 2. Now multiply each digit with base raised to power its position. So 3 is multiplied by 5 raised to power 0. 0 is multiplied by 5 raised to power 1. Right here the position of 0 is 1. 1 is multiplied by 5 raised to power 2. And then add all these terms so the answer which we will get 28 so when we convert this number into decimal number the result would be 28 now we have to convert this hexadecimal number the base of hexadecimal numbers are is 16 into a decimal number first of all assign position to each digit all digits are at the left of radix point so what will we do uh, positions will be numbered right to left starting from 0 now multiply each digit with base raised to power its position right b represents a value 11 in hexadecimal system and f represents a value 50 11 will be multiplied by 16 raised to power 3 6 will be multiplied by 16 raised to power 2 5 will be multiplied by 16 raised to power 1 and 15 uh, which means f will be multiplied by 16 raised to power 0 then add all these terms we will get this answer 46,687 now bind it to decimal now suppose we have to convert this binary number 110 into a decimal number again assign position to each digit right in binary number system we have only two digits 0 and 1 and we call them bits now assign each bit a position so we know how to assign it all are at the left of red x point so positions will be numbered from right to left starting from 0 now multiply each bit by 2 raised to power its position so 0 will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 1 will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 this one will be multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 now then add all these terms so what answer will we get 6 so 6 is a decimal number whose value is equal to this binary number now we have to convert this binary number into a decimal number here we have a radix point also so the digits or bits which are at the left of radix point 
their positions will be numbered right to left right starting from zero and those digits which are at the right of radix point their positions will be numbered negatively starting from minus one like minus one minus two minus three and so on now multiply each bit by two raised to power its position so this one will be multiplied by two raised to power zero this zero will be multiplied by two raised to power one and one will be multiplied by two raised to power two this zero will be multiplied by two raised to power minus one and this one will be multiplied by two raised to power minus two and then add all these terms the answer we will get after it will be five point two five right so the decimal number equivalent to this binary number is 5.25 thank you very much